oh my goodness, $255 for a Barbie hat puppet at the Goodwill bins on half off day. Plush is 50 cents a bag. I had about 10 plush, so five cents each. Sold him for $997. Buy it now. Are you kidding me? Wow. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are gonna talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. I'm also gonna tell you which platform they sold it on. Um, what I did is I posted this in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. It is a share your best January bolo and invited the members of the group to share their bolos. There will also be um, posts from my featured members of my YouTube channel. Members get a special mention where I pop up a screen share of either their eBay store or their YouTube channel, and I will link them in the description. Definitely go follow their eBay stores and subscribe to their channels. They are bolo finders. And if you want to join memberships, you're welcome to do that. It's level two that gets you in the video, um, but anybody is welcome to be in the video. But if you want that mention, it's level two. Um, no pressure to join at all whatsoever. It's just for those that are interested, all right, you guys? Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. And let's get started with the first big money bolo. Purchased at the Goodwill for $3.99, listed it on auction, and it didn't sell after a week. So I listed it, buy it now, and took a best offer of $85 the same day. It is a ultra rare Blanco, Blanco, not sure how to say it, double um, spout pitcher. And this is what it looks like. Okay, here we go. This was an after Christmas Christmas sale. I picked it up for $5 at an estate sale just 10 days before Christmas and priced it at the low end of comps to try to move it before Christmas. Didn't happen. January 8th, I received an offer of 25, half my asking. I countered at 45, which was declined. Two days later, cha-ching, different buyer paid full asking price of $49.99 plus shipping. Mr. Christmas is definitely a bolo. And he is correct. This is the Mr. Christmas Winter Wonderland Eve Express Musical Train Tree working with a video. One of my favorite places to source are those sidewalk sales where everything is free. You know those sales. Some folks call it trash pickup day. I have made literally thousands of dollars selling things people throw away. This DVD set was found curbside among the emptied box and packing materials from an exercise machine. Saved it from the landfill and added $34.99 minus free media mail shipping to the Jerry Fund. You gotta love it. That's Jersey Shore Thrifter eBay store right here. And Jerry, I remember featuring his eBay store back when my Bolo Buddies channel was like, I don't know, in its infant stages. So Jerry has been a lot around a long time and I always love his story. So Fluidity Fitness. There it is. It's a DVD lot. That's fun. Uh, Faraday's Flipper. And this is eBay store right there. This is, this is one of many items from my in-laws estate. We are selling everything so we can fund our cross-country move to Seattle late this year. Paid nothing. Sold for asking price of $50. Cross-posted from eBay to Mercari, and that is where it sold. It is a Chinese red mun shu famille uh, long, longevity pattern. Sorry, guys. Um, this is what it looks like. <laughs> All right. I got this Folkmanis Mickey Mouse puppet at the Goodwill Bins on half-off day. Plush is 50 cents a bag. I had about 10 plush, so five cents each. Sold him for $997. Buy it now. Are you kidding me? Wow. 
Folk Bonus Mickey Mouse, Goodwill Benz, five cents. Found this guy on Facebook Marketplace for $40 and sold it in less than 24 hours for $400 plus shipping. It is a vintage Jerry Mahoney Paul Winchell's ventriloquist dummy. And they say that they're a Bolo Buddies member also. So I need to look at my memberships and see what's going on. Uh, it looks like I've got lots of new members. But it looks like their eBay store is Picker Money Flipper. And you can see it right here in the photo. The next one is bought these blue willow bowls for 59 cents each. Plates were 79 cents each at the Goodwill. So about $10 into them all. Had two more I hadn't listed yet because they were a different brand. Someone I knew locally asked me if they could buy them without the shipping. I even delivered because I was so glad to not have to pack them up. Sold for $76.99 total. I threw in the two extras I had. Sometimes it pays to talk about what we do. She had followed my store after hearing about what I was doing. And this is what they are. They are vintage Churchill, England set of seven blue will, willow cereal bowls and fruit. And then the salad plate. Picked this up at a garage sale for a dollar. Sold in three weeks for $99.99. Check it out. It is a porcelain figurine ballerina. Schombach. I may have said that wrong. Kunst. Wallendorf. And that last word, I'm just going to let you read because I'm not even going to attempt that. So it's a porcelain figurine. This one right here comes from Got Junk in Our Trunk. This is her awesome YouTube channel. And she's also a moderator of the Facebook group. So go show her some love with a sub. She said this set of books was free. Found on the side of the road during a trash dash. I love all these like different names for things. Trash dash. I love it. <laughs> Makes it sound so sophisticated. Like I was out on my trash dash. Uh, sold for full asking price plus shipping. Um, it is a vintage 1994 The Bible Story A. Maxwell complete set. And there you have it. $99.99. Trash dash. That needs, she needs to do a series on her trash dash finds. Paid $3 at the Goodwill. It is a Peanuts Peppermint Patty Cedar Fair exclusive stuffed plush. And it sold for $45.99. This one here got at the Salvation Army for $4.95 and sold it for $49.99. It is a hard to find Vera tote bag in cozy quilted plaid. Academia, academia, am I saying that right? Style. <laughs> this is what it looks like. And this one comes from Nani's, nope, Noni's Treasures. And this is her eBay store, Noni's Treasures. She said, I got this at the Goodwill for 99 cents and it sold overnight for $39.99. It's a vintage Tupperware two cup, 16 ounce, 16 ounce measuring pitcher with blue lettering, new old stock. This one comes from Nina's Jewels, and this is her YouTube channel. We purchased this at an estate sale for $25. I always pick it up if it is Bose. We tested it, and it worked, and it sold for our full asking price of $125. It is a sound system, and this is what it looks like. So definitely sub them up. They are linked down in the description of the video, eBay store, and YouTube channel if they have both. Otherwise, you will just find their eBay store. This one comes from... Um, Bolo Buddies member, Mindful Recycle Terry. She said, I purchased at an estate sale a couple months ago, paid $20, took a best offer of $350. American Girl Samantha, 1986. Um, so she is a pleasant company. If you see the ones with pleasant company, those are typically a bigger money bolo. Paid 10 cents each at a garage sale and sold the following day. They were listed. e collar. ET300 one half mile remote dog trainer, mini educator, pink collar, and purple collar. So $20 all in. Looks like one person bought both of them for $250. Bam. Yeah, I've sold dog collars before. The electric fence ones, definitely a bolo. Even if they're used, they can sell for good money. Pretty good sale. Bought a lot of stamps from Donatella Bottolino's auction. Spent $100, I believe. There were 25 to 30 stamps. 
but I purchased because there were three of these types, bigger house mouse stamps. So I did a calculation. It was about eight in, but really more like 30 because I knew the house mouse stamps would be paying for the lot. I had a coupon going on. So buyer asked if I would do these two. Um, eBay was glitching, so they just made her a bundle. Okay, so if you don't know, House Mouse is definitely a bolo. Some of them can go for over $100. I have a video on um, wood rubber mounted stamps that go for big money, and House Mouse is one of them. She sold these for $56.25. Purchased another vintage Barbie lot for $55. I sold two wigs from 1961 that covered the complete cost of the lot. Long story short, I found this outfit in the tote. This is the third item from it. Bottom line is my investment is nothing any longer on this lot, and there's so much more to sell. The above screenshot is proof they bought and paid for it and left amazing feedback for it. This was so exciting. It is the 19... 67 Francie prom pinks dress Sears exclusive outfit sold for $250 right there. Definitely a bolo. She is also a bolo buddies member and her eBay store is Janie Marie 310. And this is what it looks like. She said the dress jacket and shoes sold for full asking price. My research to me where to market this financially and enough to make an offer if they ask. The buyer didn't ask for a discount. She left amazing feedback. Yeah, uh, Barbie clothes can be crazy good. And you can see she has the item number. It's number 1295. If you can identify what the outfit is and what it's called and put that number in the title, that's going to help you sell your item. And plus this had, um, you know, the additional accessories with it. So that's fantastic. Restore Habitat for Humanity paid a dollar. Listed on eBay and sold the same day. I'm sorry. Listed January 17th and sold January 19th for a best offer of $30.99. It is the Dr. Seuss, the Grinch, small six-inch plush, Fred the Reindeer stuffed animal from 2018. Now, this looks like it was sold in Canada. Okay, this one comes from Cat Feeling Thrifty, and she is starting to put content on YouTube. So I'm going to link her YouTube down below and her eBay store. She is fantastic. Definitely check her out. You may have seen her in my recent This Is My Bolo, where I invite everybody to do a 60 second video of their bolo. And this was a members video. Sometimes I open it up to everyone, but this one happened to be members. And she did her first YouTube video, 60 second video. So you may have seen her there. This is what she sold. Purchased at an estate sale, paid up at $95, knew it would sell for a lot. Sold on best offer of $245. It is a Sony um, radio AM FM. It's like a boom box kind of. Maybe it's not a boom box. It's a shortwave radio, not a boom box. I don't know what I'm talking about. Tested and works and it's made in Japan. Okay, this one is also from Cat Feeling Thrifty. Purchased lot of watches for $59 at a local auction. This one item, surprised that it worked and what it sold for. Cha-ching. It's a vintage Hamilton watch, military field, mechanical manual wind, 1979. And my husband probably would have picked that one up. He loves old watches. She sold that for $275. Um, this one is another one from Cat Feeling Thrifty. Vintage compact lipstick. Trickets by Wisner Miami 50s Pearl Aqua Rhinestones New. This is cool. Purchased at a local estate for $27. Sold on best offer for $140 plus shipping. Wow, that is fancy. So it's a compact. Okay, here we go. We got some information here. Hey friends, I found another bolo. I purchased these very heavy wrought iron fireplace candle holders for the floor, for the floor at Habitat for myself three years ago. 
I paid $3 and decided I had personally collected too much stuff, so they needed to go. Each candle holder weighed 2.58 pounds. I couldn't find great comps anywhere, so I listed them as a buy it now or best offer in the $50 range originally. I got really low ball offers that I did not accept because even though I got them cheap, they had excellent value and quality. And I always say that it doesn't matter what I paid for the item. It's what the item is worth, okay? So I ended the listing, changed pictures around and title prior to buying photo room and listed them at 199 and let my sale kick in, which brought them down to 143 plus change and buyer to pay shipping. Within about two weeks, they went for full asking price. So moral of the story, you can increase the price and still sell the item. She went from 50 and increased it to 200 and sold it for 143. That is an awesome story. And that is uh, Janie Marie. I'll pop it up right here. This is her eBay store and it will be linked down below. Janie Marie 310. There we go. All right. This one comes from My Reseller Treasure. This is her YouTube channel. She is not a member, but I'm going to shout her out because she has helped me so much. She is incredible. Brandy has an amazing YouTube channel. If you want to learn about Barbies and toys, oh my goodness, go sub her up. I will link her down below. Here is an example of just how knowledgeable she is. It's a super rare hat. It is part of a vintage Barbie outfit called Shimmering Magic, listed around Christmas time of 2022 with best offer. I turned down an offer of 150 last week. It sold yesterday for full asking price of 255 free shipping. This came from an online estate auction I won. It had about three bins worth of stuff for $45. It will be in an upcoming video. Oh my goodness. $255 for a Barbie hat. I'm telling you, this girl knows her stuff. You got to go sub her up. Got this whole lot from a Goodwill for $4.99, sold in less than 24 hours. They are genuine Kodak standard capacity ink cartridges. And this is what they look like. Bought for $4.99 at the Goodwill, listed high at $200, received several offers in a few days, and took the best at $140 plus shipping. It's a, oh, I can't say this word. Uh, oh, I just, I'm trying to remember. Lee. Oh. Cousette. I know it's wrong. I don't know. This is what it looks like. It's an enameled cast iron ombre sea rise red Dutch oven. I don't even know if I said all that right. <laughs> but anyway, uh, 140 plus shipping on that. Lee Cuisine, is that it? Maybe I got it the second time. I don't know. You guys will let me know. Um, if you're new here, sorry. If you've been here a while, thanks for coming back. Bought at the Goodwill for $2.99, listed it for $60 and took a best offer of $45 plus shipping 10 days later. It's a vintage green Holland mold ceramic Christmas tree holly base only. It is just the base, okay? You can just sell the bases. Just make sure you put those measurements on there, okay? Bought at an estate sale for $5, sold for full asking price of $140. It is a Reed Pleater 16 row original box directions, extra needles never used. Not really sure what it is, but that's what it looks like. And this one is brought to you by Amazing Steals and Deals. This is his eBay store. He is a major bolo finder. Definitely go check out his eBay store. Here's another one. Bought it in a state sale for three bucks and sold for a best offer of $375. It is a Jomaz, J-O-M-A-Z, bird on a branch, emerald green, fruit salad, cabs, turquoise, and pave RS. This is what it looks like. It's a brooch. That's incredible. That is incredible. $375. All right, you guys, that is it for this one. Um, stay tuned for more. This is a whole series. Um, each month I do this. So if you guys would like to share a bolo, definitely go over to my Facebook group. Looks like this. And um, 
share a bolo. Everybody can share and if you are not a member, it's just anonymous like you saw in the video. If you are a member, you will get that mention with a screenshot and a link down below. So if you'd like to join memberships, it's level two to be featured in the video. Thank you guys all so much for being here. Again, no pressure to join memberships. You know, it's if it works for you and it's something you want to do, then do it. If not, no pressure, okay? Come share a bolo. It's completely free. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. And leave me a comment of an owl or just write the word hoot. Thanks for watching.